rap news and street politics. And man, we coming back with that dangerous content. We keep giving y'all this survival guide for the streets and we hearing y'all in the comments, we done got cracking in watts, man. Now I'm gonna tell y'all, you know, this video right here, listen closely. We gonna tell y'all how to make it out the projects, man. Everybody know watts. Everybody know that it's synonymous for its projects. And we about to hit this list going crazy. Now for y'all that ain't familiar with watts, man, we touching on South LA, the east side still, right above Compton. We hitting Watts and we hitting a little bit of that South Central area, you know what I'm saying? But again, we on the east side of the 110. The real gutter part though, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta pay close attention. We gonna tell y'all how to get out of these situations. Number 10 on the list, man, we jumping right into it. Great Street Watts. Now y'all know this, so y'all see 03 Greedo in this hood, man. It's been a lot of info around 03 Greedo. In a couple months, he done just did his little prison bid, but I'm gonna keep it real. Now, I've been over there in the Graves Pervert and doing my little thing, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you, off 99th and Juniper, it's cracking over here, you know what I'm saying? The Graves got a big project from 103rd by Jordan High School, Jordan Down Projects. They gentrifying the situation. They trying to push that Section 8 out. This is a large section in Watts. Now, like I said, man, I done been in the Jordan Downs really doing my shit. Niggas done got up with me in the Jordan Downs, though. You know what I'm saying? Niggas try to block my car in and do all kind of shit at one point. You know what I'm saying? Look, I done seen a whole lot in the Jordan Downs. If y'all dudes ever is in the projects, now we tell y'all on this channel, y'all know, it ain't no reason y'all should be over here in the first place. You know, it's no reason. You know, we told y'all in Compton, we told y'all Inglewood, West, my, West Side of South Central. Look, we gonna say it for real. The projects, whole different beats. You know what I'm saying? These situations, this ain't like no avenue block banging. You know what I'm saying? This ain't really even apartment banging. The projects are no go zone. It ain't no reason that's gonna make a nigga be up in these projects. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Grafton got up on me one time, boxing nigga in, hey, you know what, and hopped out on the nigga though. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's one thing that you need. You in these projects, the first thing, that motherfucking burner though. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, that's the first situation that got me out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is for niggas that ain't really banging. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got gang members, you got street niggas, and you got squares. You know what I'm saying? Now, Whatever line you operate on, if you a gang member, I'm not really speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that's gang banging, you already know, so I ain't gonna tell y'all what to do. But niggas that street niggas, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's gonna be your first ticket to get out the motherfucking projects, man. The second ticket to get out of Jordan Downs, Imperial Course, Niggas in Gardens, the Avalons, whatever project you in on the east side of LA, man. The second ticket, listen closely, lying, nigga. If you over there, don't ever tell these niggas why the fuck you there for real. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we ain't talking about gang members. You know, this ain't this ain't for gang members and shit. Like I said, if y'all goofy ass niggas is over here for no reason, fucking around, don't just be like, oh, I'm over here to see a bitch. Wrong move, nigga. These are all kind of things that's going to get your ass sold up in the end. Now, you know, we're going to have some niggas that is going to say, you know, I don't want to sit here and lie to a motherfucker. You know, niggas going to have some type of morality about themselves and shit, even though they ended up in the projects. Whatever the fuck that case is, you know what I'm saying? But I guess we all niggas on step three. Again, not gang banging, you know, not so much a street nigga, but civilian niggas. If you want to just tell a motherfucker, hey, tell them the real, you don't want to lie. I don't know what, what kind of good reason you have to be up in there. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, sightseeing, whatever the fuck you finna tell them. Hey, do that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to lie. But uh, if it result in a fade, the lie probably gonna result in a fade. The game banging, you know, whatever it is, it may result to it. So you don't want to lie. Tell them niggas what it is, whatever you feel like was your reasoning for going over there. Hey, let that shit be that. But we didn't told y'all niggas. Y'all better be quick on your toes with this shit, man. Again, you catch yourself blocked in on motherfucking 99th, 103rd, whatever one of these streets is, man. You know what I'm saying? And don't play this tough guy role just because you got the blammer. You still got to have respect, nigga. You still got to know where you at. You know what I'm saying? You know, you still got to do your shit. 
don't run from these niggas. Hey, the run, do not run. You know what I'm saying? Address this shit like it, man. You done came over here. Still be a man that's standing on two. Don't sit here and try to drive off. These niggas approach your car. Nigga, what's up? You know what I'm saying? All right, boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see y'all niggas over here. You know, I'm doing my little shit. You know, hey, whatever. Whatever the fuck you on, whatever you gonna come up with, nigga. Never tell these motherfuckers you're going to see a bitch. Don't tell the motherfucker you made a wrong turn. No goofy shit. Again, we talking to civilians. You know, niggas that's not banging. You know, I know I'm, I'm about to see a lot of niggas in the comments about why the fuck you gonna lie and do all this nigga. Man, you put down that game banging shit and your ass turned up on 99th, nigga. You gonna lie to get out that motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? Again, don't be clutching on it. Don't do no weird shit. Like, talk to these niggas. Hey, this what it is. You know what I'm saying? They gonna ask you what part of town you from or whatever. Say that shit, whatever. Again, if you're not game banging, just keep that shit moving, man. But do not end up in the grapes. These dudes beefing with bounty hunters. They beefing with PJ Watts. They beefing with 10 line gangsters. Beefing with DS line Watts. Beefing with Fudge Town. It's not a lot of hoods over here that's fucking with great. And if you think that they don't think that you one of these niggas, you sadly mistaken. This is why they on your ass, man. They in a lot of beef over here. And you know, I tell y'all niggas, man, you might have to lie to get out that situation because you want to do whatever the fuck it takes to get the fuck out that motherfucker. You know, regardless of whatever the fuck reason you went up in there, you got to get out. You know, this ain't, this ain't the moment of truth in this motherfucker. If niggas walk up on you and ask you some questions. This ain't the moment to just be super truthful. You know, this ain't the moment to just be stand up. These niggas ain't your fucking friends. They're not here to fucking help you. Why the fuck would you want to be truthful about anything? You want to do whatever it takes to get your ass out of the projects, right? Lie, nigga. Your best one. Because honestly, there's no good reason, truthful reason, that you should even fucking be over here, like I said, unless you game bang and finna slide, or if you know these niggas or you from over here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, okay, maybe the baby mama, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if your baby mama stay over here, you've been over here. So you know these niggas. You know what I'm saying? You've already been pressed. You know what I'm saying? It's already done. So they wouldn't be pressing you again. So nine times out of ten, you ain't over here for your baby mama. No reason to be over here. Now, I want you niggas in the comments, man. Tell us why the fuck you would end up in the projects. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck you would end up in the projects? And what the fuck would you say to get the fuck up out of there if your ass got blocked in? But you got the thumper, though. What would you do? Join down projects. We're not playing with this shit. This is why we had to put these niggas on the front for y'all. Get this shit out the way. That's why they number 10. Again, this list, it ain't about number one being the best, number 10 being the worst. It ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? It's about most dangerous hoods and watts. That's what we talking about. Watts, the most dangerous place in the motherfucking city. Now, we didn't talk to Compton. Compton is the word sketchy. You know, this motherfucker real sketchy. Niggas is creeping around Compton and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Compton is like the dark end. You know what I'm saying? Shit real funny style over there. Watts, Hami. Hami. We're going to put the descriptive words on Watts, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Stay out. Nigga, how about that? You know what I'm saying? Stay out this shit. And you know, it's real indicative. When you see candle lights, candle lights in the Jordan Downs, candle lights on Wilmington, wherever you at, you know you in the gutter. Number nine, Bounty Hunter Watts Bloods. Don't want no broke face. You gotta do hair sale pussy or something. I need a push to start. My bucket be like, eh, eh, eh. Cop up on my bucket. Do the new ski. I'll be flexing. Something my enemy hood up with a middle finger next to My whole bitch a little ugly, but I'll be having her on some sexy shit. Ever on my shoulder. Work my chest. I ain't stressed. I'm trying to replace them for a cubal with the bust down VVS. On the block with blicking two dollars to buy some corn from the Mexican. Yeah, fuck love. These dudes got a grip of members coming off Imperial. You know what I'm saying? They got that Chevron right there on Imperial. When them niggas up in the morning getting their morning blunts, they popping out the Knicks, they hitting that Chevron right there on Imperial, right before Compton. This shit ain't nothing to play with. Oh, look, go ahead and go down Imperial, bust that left or right into the projects off of success, hit that fire line, 115th Street, Bounty Hunter Watts. Make that left on the fire line. It's cracking. These dudes is gonna be there. Whatever time of day, these dudes is gonna be there. Now we know J-Rock from over here. D3 season. It's a lot of dudes. It's a lot of rappers that done came out of the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? Again, these are the projects of LA. These motherfuckers get cracking. It like, look, I'm, I can't even look. We didn't told y'all. This is a survivor's guide to get the fuck up out these motherfuckers. Hit on success. Hit on 115. Take that little look. Get the fuck on. But I'm telling you, 
it don't stop right here with the bounty hunters. So right here on Compton Avenue, they got NL Market and they got that liquor store next to that, uh, across the street from that. They crawling all over there. It's the little alleyway that's over there. They all over there. Not only that, but they outside of the project buildings on 115. Man, we didn't see these dudes on 115 in our Bella, close to the PJs. Now, at one time, they been cool. They was cool with the PJs to go against the grapes. You know what I'm saying? But these is bloods, and they are extremely active. This section, man, this is a no-go zone. And you know, a set like this, this is this is a takeover set. You know what I'm saying? This is a set we didn't see in Wise Barrio Locotes taking over their shit outside the projects. You know what I'm saying? They passed 111. They in the avenues and they inside of the Nickerson Gardens. None of this shit is safe over here. They really stretching from like 108th all the way down to Imperial between Central and Willowbrook. And I'm going to really say Wilmington. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, on that, on that shit on Willowbrook, it's a lot of dead ends and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we can cut it to Willowbrook. You know what I'm saying? Because Wilmington... We gonna touch on Wilmington. We gonna see. We gonna show y'all where it's cracking on Wilmington. You know what I'm saying? But again, Bounty Hunter Watts story section. These dudes is not playing. They've also been known to be for Front Street, Carver Park, Mona Park, Athens Park, F13, and a few other Pyro hoods. Man, man, like I said, these dudes is jumping. The projects, man. They recruitment is high. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is in these projects. A lot of people is from these hoods. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful. Again, they at that Chevron. They at that NL market. Do not stop on any of these streets. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want to get banged. Though. I mean, if you want to experience that, then go. If not, nigga, stay off in period and central. Now, number eight on the list. We hitting another project for y'all. Another project in Watts. Imperial Courts. Project Watts Crip. PJ Watts. Yeah, man, Justin Bieber in the hood, cuz. White boy, seen that shit. Now, these dudes, you can catch them in the back of their hood on Mona at that pink market. You know what I'm saying? It's really kind of like the front, but it would be considered the back end. You know what I'm saying? Based on where everything else is. But if you want to see these guys, man, this is where you hit on Wilmington, 114, 115. Again, these sections are extremely active and they not fucking with the grape. Grape Street, Watts Crip, Watts Body of Grape. It's not happening with PJ Watts, man. Now, if you want to catch these guys, you can pop off Imperial, hit on Croesus and 115. Man, as soon as you get in the project, stay there. I'm trying to tell you, they going to be there. Now, these dudes also... Like I said, beef with Gray. They beef with 10 Line. They beef with DS Line Watts. They beef with Pocket Hood. They beef with Carver. And they beefing with Athens Miller. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, they on the back end of Watts, closer to the 10 Line, tucked right on the 105. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a little tricky. If you're taking Central Imperial, a little tricky to get over there. You know what I'm saying? But hit Wilmington, you're going to see these dudes. Hit Imperial on the back end, you're going to see these dudes. Like I said, on Mona, they outside, entrenched in a lot of gang warfare. These is the projects of Watts. Like I said, 115th and Croesus, man, hey, just don't even turn down. Don't even turn down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to think it's cool. You're going to see it when you go up in there. As soon as you get in there, niggas going to be on that car. You know what I'm saying? They be like, hey, who is that? Because the thing is about the projects, man, you got to realize this is like a like an amplified apartment building, man. Hundreds of people in this month, maybe thousands of people in this motherfucker. But the thing is, they know who in there. They know who come through this bitch consistently every day. The mailman, the cleaners, all these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They know who there. Old candy lady. You know what I'm saying? So when your shit been up in there, when your bullshit pull up on they block, they like, who the fuck is that? And it's time to get up on you. Now, for y'all that don't know, man, if y'all ain't heard this story, a couple months ago, it was two cats from PJ Watts crept up in the Grape Streets, crept up in the Jordan Downs in them projects, man, and they got Chip trying to slide on the grapes. AKA, man, they tried to shoot at the grapes, and the grapes killed them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Again, Jordan Down, not to play with. PJ Watts, Grape Street Watts, still engaged in a high-end beef, full gang warfare. 
You know what I'm saying? There's no games being played. Again, these two dudes tried to crack, tried to slide through the Jordan Downs, chipped. Y'all marinate on that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm telling you. Now, again, this ain't so much for gang members because these sections right here, we ain't even got to talk to niggas that's banging. The niggas that's banging already know. You know what I'm saying? It's only a couple reasons you're going to be up in here. For that motherfucking slide or because you know these niggas and you cool with them. Other than that, you're not here. It's non-existent. Out of town niggas, man. Listen to this. This is how you make it out the projects. You don't go. All right? Now, number seven on the list, we hitting the active little hood over here. 110th Street, 109th Street. And then I think I'm quite high, but I'm trying to see how I stay so I bounce on having twitch and I slap and gave him a face. Yo, these niggas say they gangs that ain't lying. These niggas play thugs, got glow with 50. I'm tone like it's a play game. Me and my brothers in my day ones. A nigga tripping, he ain't say nothing. If I ever take him off, then I'm a case. I'm gonna hit a nigga up. Just wanna spring on when I'm gone. They gon' know me, but I'm getting into that day coming out. Now, this section is two parts of this hood 10 line gangsta crip and the S line Y stresse. They hit up together, south side, east side, pushing that line. They beefing with Grape Street, beefing with PJ Watts, beefing with Vadio Grape, beefing with 7th Street Watts. It's cracking. Now, we didn't see these dudes real heavy on 110th at Lee's Market. We didn't see them on 109th. Again, off of Wilmington. These dudes is heavy hanging on Wilmington. Now, they also beefing with badass gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Now, badass gangsters, they're not, they not really out there like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say they hood. Not, not too active. But 10 Line Watts, man. Wilmington. Another candlelight in they hood. This is it right here. That means bodies getting dropped. You know what I'm saying? You floating around here. Stay away from the candlelights. Not only did somebody get chipped right there. Also, Enemigos is coming to kick them candles over. And niggas coming to patrol, man. Y'all stay out of the 10 lines. Hella active section. Tiny Joe Love from over here. Do my dance, they like, fuck it up, Tiny. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hear that little shit? They do my dance, they like, fuck it up, Tiny. They like, fuck it up, Tiny. Hit the set, do my dance, they like, fuck it up, Tiny. They like, fuck it up, Tiny. Hit the set, do my dance, they like, fuck it up, Tiny. I just pop two perks, I feel good, and I ain't lying. Bitch said I broke a heart, tell that bitch stop lying. Hug the bitch in her feelings. Tiny Jolo, them gangsta crips is in Watts. And they got them Hispanic allies, man. And that shit, it's like double the trouble over here, man. This is not a place. They right next to the PJ Watts stuff. Again, I always said, if y'all want to go check this section out, we got it for y'all right here. Wilmington 110, Wilmington 109, right next to PJ Watts, 10 line gangsta crip. Now, number six on the list. We coming over a little bit. Front Street Watts Crip. Active ass section, man. Look, Watts is just like the Mecca, the no play zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not for play. It ain't, you know, it's straight up. It ain't no hiding. You know what I'm saying? Everything is right on Front Street out in Watts, man. And Front Street Watts Crip is one of them hoods that's out here. Tucked against Avalon and Central. 105th Street. 108th Street, 106th Street, 103rd Street. Between Century and 108th, Front Street Watts, extremely active. And they cool with the East Coast. They cool with the 897s. And we're going to touch on 897 later. I don't want to hear that shit right now. They cool with the 102s. We're going to touch on the 102s. They fuck with the East Coast. They beefing with Backstreet Watts. Now, Backstreet Watts used to be cool with these dudes. They broke off. Now they beefing. Front Street Watts Crip active ass section over in fucking watch man they beef with center circle pyro now we didn't we didn't put center circle on this list we didn't put hasi in the village on this list we got to give y'all the most dangerous you know what i'm saying hasi in the village i ain't gonna lie them niggas ain't out they got a project over there too close to the grapes on compton avenue i ain't gonna lie man we ain't seen them you know we, we ain't seen them guys so they're not here Front Street Watts is though. But they also beef with Village Boys Watts. Now, Village Boys Watts, we kind of seen their presence, but they share the Hasi in the Village with Hasi in the Village Bloods. These dudes also beef with Hat Gang and they beef with the Bounty Hunters, man. This section is extremely active now. 
now that we coming to the east side, y'all gonna see just how dangerous this shit is. Remember these streets, Central, Avalon, Sentry. Now, fair enough, all these hoods pretty much stop on Sentry in this video. So, you know, everything after this, we're gonna be above Sentry. But this for everybody in the comments saying, you forgot Hat Gang, you forgot them, you forgot them. Again, listen, we stopping that Sentry over here. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that's bleeding past Sentry is Grape Street Watts, and y'all know why we had to put them in here. Everything else, we're going to hit Sentry in the next video. Y'all stay tuned. Now, before we get to that number five hood, man, again, hit that like, comment, and subscribe, man. We in the trenches for real with it. You know what I'm saying? We doing what these other YouTube niggas don't do. We don't sit here and give y'all facts about how the fuck buildings was made in 1940 and shit, doing all that goofy shit. Niggas is really in these sections. We're going to tell you how to make it out of these sections if your dumb ass went in the section and we're going to do it the motherfucking right way with the streets. You know what I'm saying? Follow us, likes, do all this shit, man. Put them comments in the section. Let us know if y'all fucking with Watts or not. Number five on the list. We hitting the Q102s, East Coast Crip. Now, this is the section that started the beef with the Grape Streets. At Bear Party, with BL getting killed, this is the section, this is the genesis of the great beef right here. Q102, East Coast Crip, active section. They fuck with the 897s. Now, all East Coast get along. I ain't gonna lie to you. They all get along. But they be right here at that Happy Liquor and that Andy's Donuts right off Avalon. This these dudes section, man. Right next to the Hustler Crips. Again, they not on the list. We ain't gonna touch on them. But Q102's active over here, man. East Coast Crip section. Again, we done told y'all, not only they beefing with Grape Street Watts, they beefing with Florencia. Well, okay, let's walk that back. Historically, they have beef with Florencia, but they got the troops. You know what I'm saying? Forgot about that real quick. Don't, don't, don't kill me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? It's just niggas know how active that beef was. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's hard to even think that they ain't beefing no more. But they got the truce with Florencia, so we're not going to put that on. You know what I'm saying? They beefing with Brown Pride. They beefing with the Swans, the Denver Lanes, 11 Deuce Broadway. Of course, they beefing with all the Hoovers. And they beefing with Athens Miller, man. Section jumping. Now, they don't have a major hood, but y'all going to hear this street. Town. Off town is cracking. It's a lot of hoods off town. Q102 is one of them. 102nd in town. 101st in town. You know, th these dudes will go so far to cross out grapes on the little kid's paint. They not fucking with Grape Street Watts, man. Again, this is where the beef started between the East Coast and the grapes. So you can imagine, man, you can't be in this section wearing purple. Now, I don't know too many people that wear purple anyways, other than the grapes and maybe some random shit here and there. You know, niggas that be in them Jordans and shit, whatever. But this is not the section to do that in. Avalon, 102nd. It's not it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, these dudes is between Main Street and Avalon, between 104th and Century. Q102 East Coast. Number four on the list, we're going to come back a little bit more. We're going to hit Watts Vadio Grape. Come take a trip with the grapes, we're going to get you right. 20 racks in this trap, we finna pass the night. How you my dog? If you ain't gonna pop for me, go take a hike. Don't need no bitch, don't need no niggas, I'm trying to take a flight. Banging Southside Grape really set me right. But now you know what I'm saying? Now, we didn't touch on Grape Street Watts. But just like 10 Light Gangsters, how they have the S line, Grape Street got Watts Vadio Grape. But the reason why Watts Vadio Grape is their own little section in this video, because them niggas is extremely fucking active and they all over the place with it. They beefing with Florencia. They beefing with the S line. They also beefing with Brown Pride. They beefing with 10 Line. That anybody that Grape beefing with, Watts Vadio Grape beefing with too. Now, we didn't see them really fucking with Fudge Town. You know what I'm saying? They outside the projects, but they also inside the projects. You know what I'm saying? Active ass to that say hood and Watts. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't speak on, but a lot of black dudes being from Hispanic gangs. Now, we didn't see a, a, a real like active on the internet black dude from Watts Vadio Great. You know, this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? General, a nigga finna paint away. Niggas got that pipe in their mouth like they pop pot. Go against the suit in my nigga, you gon' die. Car burns out. This is what a lot of motherfuckers don't talk about about how black dudes are from Hispanic gangs. Now I know if you know California, you know the prison politics. I even have 
niggas that I grew up with, black dudes that became Hispanic gang members. You know what I'm saying? And they also, at the same time, they damn near became Hispanic. You know, niggas know what I'm talking about with that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they didn't been to prison, man, they damn near Hispanic at that point. It ain't no, you know, fuck all the other shit. You know what I'm saying? But Watts Video Grape is very tight knit with Grape Street Watts, you know? And you can catch these dudes entrenched in a lot of beef around Watts. Now, number three on the list, we gonna hit y'all with G Pet Eco Hood, man. 11 Dudes Broadway Gangsta Crip. So we're on the corner of 108th and Broadway. Like this used to be like one of the most violent areas in the hood, like these corners right here and then this block right here, like the 10 8 Motel, like even my homies, like a lot of homies from my hood were scared to come down here, you know what I'm saying? Right on the 112th and Broadway. And South Los is in their hood too, man. The South Los and the Broadways, they share that hood. And we know South Los to be uh, a little racist and shit. So it's, it's crazy to see that both of these fools share the same hood. But 11 Dudes Broadway, we already know. 112th and Broadway. Now, they section is large, man. From 104th, pretty much like Olive, but I'm going to just say Broadway, all the way to Main Street, all the way down to Imperial. You know what I'm saying? 104th, all the way down to Imperial. Huge section, man. And they beefing with sets like Backstreet Watts Crip. All the Rolling Hunters. Twilight Zone. Block Crip. The neighborhood crips, you know what I'm saying? Now, we done heard they got a little truce going on with the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? So, if that's true, that means they're not really into it with the Q102s, 897s, the 11-8s, who they real close to. You know what I'm saying? If that's true, they're not really beefing with them dudes, but they also are beefing with the Denver Lanes. They're not far from them, and they've had a truce with the Hoovers lately. You know what I'm saying? But 11 dudes Broadway, g Pet Eco Hood, is jumping. Been getting to it all day, I heard it, that's on the meter. It's on the meter. It's T-Swag Posted with my crib for 112 That's how we bleed us Yeah, they malforming And that's exactly how we breed them Middle fingers to the haters I don't fuck with you either Little nigga keep playing And I'ma go and get the heater That's the Nina A four-fifth It got a beam on it I bet I won't be. Now they also have a set Way down Five dudes You know, five dudes Broadway On the east side of South Central We coming with that Y'all stick with the series We gonna touch on the other Broadway hoods You know what I'm saying But this section right here probably the most active out of the broadways now we're gonna we're not gonna slight nobody but you know you know you, you just know how it go it's a bunch of east coast hoods couple broadway hoods avalon hoods you know what i'm saying it's levels to this shit you know what i'm saying 11 dudes broadway is on one of them top tier levels you know what i'm saying that's why they on the list they crack it now they right next to the twilight zones and they next to the east side hustlers the east side hustlers on town but like i said we didn't put them order twilight zones in there man you know, picking these lists don't be easy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers be talking about, oh, you miss Wooty Woo, you miss Wooty Woo. This niggas be wall banging, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, you got to be in these sections to know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of y'all motherfuckers going to sit on the internet, not be in these sections. I know a couple people in the comments said they stay over there, but check this out. If y'all stay, then y'all would know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this shit is a no go zone, man. Now, number two on the list, we hitting y'all with Backstreet Watch Crip. Now, Backstreet Watts Crip is always known to beef with Front Street Watts. They used to be together. In recent years, these dudes have not been fucking with each other. Backstreet Watts also beefing with 11 Deuce Neighborhood Crip. Hood, hood Jersey out. You know, hood's the 11 Deuce though. You know what the fuck going on? Backstreet Killer Gang. Whole lot of it, nigga. BSK Bone. Yeah, Eastside nigga. On the dead homies. Y'all know what the fuck going on. And you niggas know my name. Neighborhood Crip. Between Avalon, now they hood don't stretch all the way to Central, but like 108th, Avalon, McKinley, Stanford, between 108th and 111th, it's about right around there. Now, maybe not so much 111, but, well, yeah, yeah, them niggas be on the 111th place. You know what I'm saying? Not so much the street, but they over there. You know what I'm saying? They close to the 11 Deuce neighborhood, Chris. Now, 11 Deuce, they ain't not really active like that either over there. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas is squashed in between the Broadways and the back streets as well as the 11 8s. Now, 11 8s ain't going to beef with them, but they hood is not that big over there. Same with 11 6 Avalons. 11 6 Avalons ain't, you know, they over here in Watts too, but again, we didn't put them on the list. You know what I'm saying? They not, you know, they not doing it like them five trays. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to them five trays, and we're going to get to them right, you know, the right way. So y'all stay tuned, man. Backstreet Watts, they entrenched in war, man. 
They beefing with the Rolling Hunters. Again, like we said, beefing with 11 Deuce Broadway, beefing with 11 Deuce Neighborhood, beefing with Front Street. These dudes is jumping. Now, we ain't heard too much about them beefing with Bounty Hunter, but I'm sure they do. You know what I'm saying? This ain't too far from the Bounty Hunter hood. You know, 108th to Central, back over to 108th. Bounty Hunter watches real close to these guys. You know what I'm saying? So, but man, like we told you, Bounty Hunter got a bunch of shit on their plate anyway. Now, I know niggas be trying to chill, but hey, man, ain't nothing like some old-fashioned gang warfare. That's what Bounty Hunter watches bring. You know what I'm saying? So, we got to let y'all know. We done told y'all numerous times. Number one, ain't worse or better than number 10. So, it don't matter who the fuck or what the fuck number you are on this list. It's just that you made the motherfucking list. Number one, 11 East Coast Crip. 11 East Coast. Right. Like, oh, wait, hold on, nigga. I'm from all of them. Right. Now, these dudes' section crosses over from Imperial all the way down to 120th, crossing the 105. From Broadway to Avalon. On 108th, 116th in town, 115th in town, San Pedro. These dudes, man, when you over here, you may not see, you know what I'm saying, too much. But it's this apartment building all the way on town. And 116th is way in the back. You know what I'm saying? These dudes is cracking over here. 118 East Coast. They are part of the East Coast cars. So they fucking with the Q102s. They fucking with the 897s all the way to the six pack. The 190s. East Coast is major. These dudes is beefing with South Los Tresse. They beefing with the Hoovers. They beefing with 11 Six Kitchen. They beef with Denver Lanes. Like I said, we didn't tell y'all it's supposed to be a truce with the Broadways. I can't say if that's in effect or not still, but they out here acting, man. Now, since these dudes is crossing the 105, they also beefing with the West Side Pyrus. They beefing with the uh, Campanella Parks and they beefing with the Athens Millers, man. 11-8 is here to stay, man. Whatever y'all say about this section, this shit's still jumping. We done gave y'all Watts. Niggas been waiting on it. Here it is. We done told y'all how to stay safe and watch. Stay out the projects. That's the number one thing. You know, the avenues, the block, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be what it's going to be throughout the whole city. But stay out the projects. Stay tuned in. We're going to keep hitting y'all. East side, south central. It's about to crack. Let's go. Rap news, street politics. Like, comment, and subscribe to this shit, man. We really out here.